What is up heroes, this is Minite Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Catherine. In the last episode, we spent a lot of time at the Stray Sheep, of course, after we made it through another night, and talked to quite a few people, including some new, or a new, individual. And, actually, no, a few, a few new people, right? There was Daniel, and his girlfriend, one of them, that is, and, and Morgan. So, yeah, we were about to head out, as Vincent has another night of, well, tragedy ahead of him and one thing I did want to say before we did that was actually I mentioned Rapunzel in a previous video and it turns out that after you beat the game you have unlimited credits to try so I think that's a more fitting scenario for actually going through all of that as sort of a bonus episode or the like so that's when I plan on doing that and yeah let's let's see what awaits Vincent tonight I have something to do already well Bye bye Vincent. Yeah, I've always got this thing to do at like 1 or 2 in the morning, just randomly comes up, but somehow it's, you know, been really active recently. Sorry I can't hang out with you more. Can't imagine that's safe. Falling asleep with a cigarette in hand. Sounds like an easy way to burn down a building. <sighs> we can't just stay the same. Oh, but I plan to go back to work after having the baby. We'll just have to split up the housework, okay? You can't throw your clothes everywhere anymore. You're going to have to watch yourself from now on. You know what I mean, right? Vincent seems to be having a tough time coping, obviously. <laughs> Hello? Who's at our place at like one in the morning? That's pretty odd. Guess we'll never find out. There you are. Tonight's stage is the Inquisition, where one is tried based on the weight of his sins. How exciting. <laughs> All right. One of the oh, I guess one of the things I'd mentioned before as well is that romance and horror are not two genres that are frequently mixed, at least to my knowledge, and this game does a really cool job of doing so. It's something that's really interesting to me, and if you guys this have any recommendations, please let me know. Abilities. Use the properties of falling blocks to wisely climb the wall that stands before you. <clears throat> so it looks like this is going to be a pretty tough set of stages. But we are ready. What is this place? We've spent a lot of time with the other sheep sharing techniques and such. So, we've got these guys who are not so fond of our presence. Yeah, this is just gonna have to- we're gonna have to- What? Seriously, I was in the middle of getting rid of these guys. It's pretty gruesome imagery, but you know what? Gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Okay. So, this is a little bit problematic, obviously. Because we have run out of stair space. So what I'm actually going to do is a totally different wall setup. And I could have avoided this by simply, well, um, looking up ahead. There we go. Alright, so we're going to get rid of our enemies again. Just to be safe. And now we're going to do a little bit of a, a pretty cool climbing technique in my opinion. Our combo is going to end in a second, so I wanted to extend that there. But anytime we have a set of three blocks, we can make use of them by kind of doing this alternating weaving back and forth. And we can build a tower like this. And I don't think this was the intended way of doing this, because I know that they gave the strategy of... Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Of having the blocks fall in a particular manner, but... But hey, <laughs> we got up, right? Alright. And here I'd imagine we can probably do something pretty similar. 
Honestly, I'll probably give myself a little bit more space than last time. But yeah, this technique in particular is really good, especially because you can use it in a really tight space, right? So like, obviously there's an entire wall that we're not utilizing, and luckily there are no coins or anything that are pushing us over there. But even if you just have a little three, like three free spaces, you can utilize something like this, which is really, really helpful. So we'll keep on climbing. There are some coins and, of course, some more enemies. One thing that is a little bit of a downside of this particular effect is that it's a little bit on the slow side. And oh wow, so we're already at the end. Let's get these coins and then we're we're good. Wow, so that actually went by a lot more quickly than I'd expected. I really do think I kind of did that in an unintended manner, I guess. Because it seems like that technique is just kind of broken on that stage. When you just have a massive wall without any... You climbed this far? Admirable. Without any sort of abnormal or trap blocks or anything like that. Yeah, I guess you could drop blocks in order to make a wider base and you could do some stairs and stuff, but anyways, we got a sheep with a police hat here. I can't believe I'm starting to see these dreams. Is this some kind of karmic payback for being a police officer? I wish I could at least remember this stuff when I wake up. Wait, did you say you were a police officer? Hmm. Do I know you from somewhere? Hmm, I think so. I think so. It's kind of weird trying to recognize a sheep, isn't it? Seeing how you don't seem very winded. I can't be exhausted. I'll go talk to the others. <laughs> well, our our body habit is, is a little bit different. But you know what? Hey, if it motivates you. Don't seem very windy. I'll go talk to the others. What do you have to say? Was that really Vincent? Me? Why would he appear just when I'm going through a tough time? He doesn't even remember me. What have I been doing all these years? Hey, hey. Yikes. Men hate the women who love them. And are attracted to women who don't. Oh, it's all my fault. I'm sorry. I'm apologizing. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> it sounds like quite the apology to accept, right? Come on, get a hold of yourself. Get a hold of yourself. I. Whenever I look up, oh, my head it hurts. Maybe you should get that checked out then, because that's not normal. Who are you? Who am I? <laughs> Who are you? Who am I? <laughs> I can't go on. I'm gonna die. Yes, you can. Even if it sucks, you're still getting closer and closer to the goal. Yeah, you're, you're right. Heck yeah, we are. Learn those techniques for nothing. I'm gonna keep working hard until the very end. All right. I like the attitude. I don't really feel like talking to you, but we will. Pony up some coins. Tonight's product is. The white cube creates a block in front of you. Wait, no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted to do. Are you kidding me? I hit X to go through the dialogue faster. I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna redo the first section of the night, I guess. And redo the wall, because I just spent 5,000 coins... Yeah, I don't want to risk getting all the way to the end of this and not having a gold, so I'll be back in a second, guys. Okay, I've made it back. We're ready to talk to the merchant again, and this time we are not going to, in the slightest, try to mash through this dialogue, and instead we're going to say, don't buy anything. <laughs> because again, I want to be able to, I want to have at least talked to him. <laughs> there was nothing I could do. If I hadn't pushed those sheep, I'd be... I understand how you feel, but you shouldn't be so hard on yourself. But I'm starting to enjoy it. Yikes. I know it's wrong, but I can't stop myself from pushing. Really? Yeah, that's a little bit concerning. When they fall, it makes me feel so good. <laughs> hmm, well, <laughs> what's your name again? I'm going to stay away from you. Hey, listen... Great way to climb. Oh yeah, what you got? Allow me to explain the wall spiders. Always be aware of your surroundings when faced with an unclimbable wall. 
You can easily hang from blocks to reach your destinations. It's a beginner level skill, but don't forget it when faced with a challenging situation. All right, valid. Isn't it awesome? Then would this work too? Allow me to explain the corner spider. Ooh, this one is tough, but yeah. Try moving blocks to form an L shape. When you are hanging, you can move between blocks that do not share an edge. Hey. Yeah, that's I that's what I probably that. don't actually I'll use too frequently. To do that. Thanks. So I'll need to keep an eye out for that, those sorts of situations. Really hard about that technique, so I don't forget it. Sorry, I gotta go. Good luck. Sorry, I've uh, got another thing to do. Yo, we were waiting for you. Huh? Me? You're an amazing climber. Oh yeah. Want to join in? Oh yeah. Sure. And I'll start off with the technique I came up with. We're learning so many techniques tonight, guys. Allow me to explain the cutout. Grab one block after another and move it towards your destination to provide a path. It's important to recognize which blocks you can let fall. Gotcha. Yeah, huh? Oh, wait a sec. Then would this be a technique too? It is good to get the refresher on these because there are some of these that I definitely do not use enough. Using the same principles of the cutout, throw out all the blocks you pulled out. By moving several blocks onto an unstable area, you can make your own stable footing. <laughs> That's incredible. Not bad, buddy. You're very perceptive. Yeah, I'll definitely have to keep an eye out for situations like that where I can really just kind of toss blocks the other side and maybe even use some of those corner spiders or whatever it may be to help out with that. I wonder if I'm in this because I was associating with a younger crowd in our company. Do you have a wife? Yes, a wonderful woman who doesn't suspect anything about her cheating. Yikes. Oh, I'm grateful. Cheating is the sign of a better man. All the women flock around the superior males. Sexual selection dictates that women prefer stronger mates to father their children. My father, he was a shitty good-for-nothing. He might have appeared good to everyone. Huh? Or, I'm sorry. Sounds like there's a lot to unpack there. But he was a shithead. Huh? Hello. If you make it to the top, you'll earn your freedom. Have you heard that? It's strange. I've heard a similar story before. The man who survives will have his wish granted. That's just a fairy tale, though. <laughs> it's just a rumor. Believing that stuff will only lead to more disappointment. All for stuff like that only makes you look stupid. <laughs> no need to be so judgmental. I can understand a, ah, oh, believing that sort of thing is like, tough or only sets you up for disappointment, but then, yeah, it makes you look stupid. It's just like, oof, daggers. Let's see who can come up with the most techniques. Sure. Sure. And I'll start off with the technique I came up with. Allow me to explain oh, so they're just going to do the same one. Okay, I, I didn't think it was like any semblance of reviewing or anything like that, but no, okay. That's Not bad. You're very Hello. All right, let's see how creative we have to get for our next night. Hey, you. Me? What? It is you. You taught me a lot before. Hey, you still made it. I didn't see you yesterday, so I thought you were done for. I won't die. Not until I see her again. Wait. Is your family down here? Yeah, right. Don't you get it? It's only men that get thrown down here. What? Why are you worrying about other people? Save your own ass and get out of here. Not the most cooperative individual, but he is making some interesting points. It is odd that there are only men down here. about other people? Save your own ass and get out of here. All right. So I think that marks everybody down here, so... You guys know what's coming next, right? We've got ourselves a confessional question. How long are we gonna play this game? Stop complaining and sit down. So forceful. Oh, man. Here you are, lost lamb. You're quite good to get through that wall. Now, this is the question. This is the fifth question. If you were paid enough money, would you walk naked <laughs> through the streets? <laughs> Could I ever be paid enough to go nude in public? I think part of it is the question of which one? Would I go to jail? Would I, you know, would, would I be for a lifelong sex offender? If so, then absolutely not. But if I were immune from such things because I was being paid oh, no. to do so, 
there's absolutely a price for that. <laughs> a life-changing amount of money for an hour or so of embarrassment, self-humiliation. Yeah, I, I could do that. <laughs> But anyways, uh, in this context, I can't assume that I, there will be no legal consequences um, as a result. So I would say never. What do you guys think? So that's the one you choose. I'm beginning to understand you. Now, this is the fourth floor. Once you're past this, you will be halfway through. That's pretty exciting. Finally, night after night. I wish you'd go easy on me, damn it. It's too bad. You're the one who tried to take someone else's future first. Think. Whose future are you about to steal away? You're trying to say. <laughs> Interesting comment. We'll go soon. Interesting comment about stealing futures. But anyways, let's see. Do we have... Let's see, okay, so other players answered. Oh, it looks like there might not even be another stage before the boss. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's like 50-50 down the line. And yeah, there wasn't even, there's not even another intermediate stage. It looks like we're at the boss. Also, we're gonna see more of this tower, which is pretty neat looking. This is the final area for tonight. A steep face is in your path. Stay calm and take it step by step. I'll do my best, I promise. <laughs> yeah, that's the <laughs> I love this one. Stay away from me! The child. Has appeared. Edge, the killer. Do not die. Edge. Thanks, I'll do my best not to die, I promise. But the whole daddy. <laughs> it's pretty intense. I forget what the like attack the child has, but we'll find out. Oh. Did he make did he change the actual blocks? No, I don't think so. Okay, well, that's good. So again, utilizing that technique, right? The wall spider. And now, just in time, we have a three, sort of three block wide narrow segment. That is perfect for our strategy that I was just using a bit before. Now, notably, we have not a lot to work with here because of the, the pushed out blocks. So what I'm actually gonna do is, what am I gonna do? Um, I don't know, actually. Yeah, this is not good. This is big bad. So we just got bodied there. For the sake of, I don't know, practice, I've clearly got a lot to figure out. If I had pushed this out of the way and pushed those other blocks out of the way, we're dead. <laughs> but I think if I had pushed those, that column of blocks on the left, we could have built a staircase and we would have been all right. So I'll keep that in mind going forward. Do not die. But yeah, we just got straight up right, splatted right, as the baby caught up to us and just slaps us over the face. We could have made a block. I tend to not want to rely on items when I'm playing the game, but that would have been a viable strategy. Okay, we can pull this out. And I guess we could even do this if we wanted, rather than have to rely on the wall spider. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's not what I wanted. So some of those blocks are falling now, which, again, is not good. But we are covering that, that gap a bit better now. But the baby is definitely catching up to us. And that is not reassuring. Like, really catching up to us. I'm gonna do this just for the sake of having more of a base. I can pull this out too to build a little bit more of a base. Come on, oh no, it's gonna attack me. Darn it. So, in that scenario, I'd actually built up enough of a, a pyramid base that we could build a little staircase there. I thought I'd been moving pretty quickly, but the baby's still caught up to us, so. We'll definitely need to come up with a different strategy or just execute a little bit more quickly than we had been. So that's worth noting for the future. 
And this time, I think I'll aim to just be a little bit more quick with my block building. And I don't need to extend my strategy on this part as much as I did last time. So this should save us some time. Alright. So yeah, I think we built a little bit more of a lead this time around. And we should be pretty safe. But if I do this technique, I will need to continue it a little bit more than I would expect. So let's do this. A little bit further. Further. Okay, good. And now... I can pull this block out, and we should have enough to build a little staircase on the right. And then we're also at the checkpoint, which is great. Not that I actually really <laughs> intend on using it, right? So, we'll head on over this way, like that, so we can extend our combo. I'll climb up this way for now. There's a really useful item there, but I don't actually feel super compelled to take it at the moment. So we could do a cutout strategy to get onto the right side there, but I don't think we're going to do that right now because, again, I feel very comfortable with this sort of strategy. And we're doing okay. It's working well so far. This divide in the middle is pretty intense. I think the whole point is we're supposed to use one of those techniques, the cutout, right? Or the bridge, or some combination of the two, in order to be going back and forth, potentially. But right now, that's not really in the question. Listen to this thing's sort of creepy, like, whole, Daddy, where are you? So we'll use this for the time being. However, you may notice there's a bit of a problem now, because, oh wait, I don't want to do that. We are, actually I'm going to go back a little bit further, and instead we're going to bridge across now. Because the, looks like we'll have a little bit more to work with over on this side. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. So we're going to come back. And then I can do this to build up a little bit of a staircase. Oops, that's not, again, what I wanted to do. We're all right, we're all right. So I can afford to... Oh, I just got hit. No! Are you kidding me? We fell so far. Darn it, darn it, darn it. We're going to lose our combo, if, if not our life. So I've got to do this to maintain my combo more than anything. And now we are in quite the the predicament. What do I do here? Oh man, we're so close. I'm gonna undo a little bit here, just to kind of buy myself some time, although the monster is clearly there. I think I'm gonna to want to bridge across. And so I should have actually pulled out this block here first. And then we can push that across and we'll be a little bit better. Don't hit me there. Nope. Okay, we're good. Kind of. <laughs> it's hard to consider that properly good, right? But anything over here, we can do this, and then we can just bridge across, and we're in the clear. Yes! So that one was a little bit tougher as we approached the top. We had to do a little bit of back and forth, but we eventually made it. All right. Those eyes, though. <laughs> so, as you can tell, these monsters are not random, right? It's gone. They're very symbolically relevant. Yeah, baby, I beat this Pun intended, Vincent. Though, <laughs> pun intended, though. <laughs> the yeah, baby. All right, well, let's hope we got a gold. Our safety bonus wasn't quite as big. Congratulations on this amazing end to the Inquisition. All right, so we did get the gold. Lovely. I do appreciate that there's an undo button. It does give you a little bit of leeway. Saves quite a bit of frustration. What did you want to talk about? <laughs> of course. What are you doing here? 
<sighs> Are you okay? Did you drink too much last night? You called me over, and you don't even remember. Huh? No way. Uh, I mean, yesterday, I... <sighs> What's wrong? You're acting weird. Weird? Me? God, why can't I remember the time I spend with you? It's like the important parts are missing. Oh, I remember them, though. <laughs> oh, well, I wonder why. <laughs> Silly. Huh? Hey, what's this long hair? I like her shirt. <laughs> the, that's Catherine's. What should I do? Should I just tell her? No, I can't let her find out like this. Oh, that's mine. Probably off my chest. <laughs> you know, manly. Huh? Your chest? <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. Y you know, uh, it's it's that. But well, you know, when sometimes the long white hair grows on your body, it's it's good luck. But this is like really long. <laughs> yeah, I was growing it out. It just fell out by itself. <laughs> Good thing, too. It's bad luck if you pull it out yourself, you know? Oh, really? It's not from another girl, is it, Vincent? No, why, why would you say that? You know, because if it is, I'm going to die right here. Hey, 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 hey. Knock it off with all the dying stuff, okay? Then I'll kill you. <laughs> I die. Or I kill you. Which would be better? Take. Come on, come on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, that escalated quickly. I'll give you five seconds. If you don't answer me, I'll kill you. One, two, huh? three, four. Hey, come on, come on. Quit fooling around. Five. There's no other girl. Right, you're imagining things. Hmm. Is that the truth? Of course it is. Hmm. It's the truth. In the words of one of our favorite characters. <laughs> okay, I trust you. Thanks. <sighs> God, she's scary like this. Is she gonna pull a knife on me one day or something? Oh, no, there is no one day. I've got to do something about this relationship. I'm not going to ask you about the past. It doesn't matter. But from now on, if you ever cheat on me, I'll be angry. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah, Such a well animated ant. You don't have to get that, do you? Whoa, whoa, whoa wait, hold on. Sounds pretty aggressive. Uh oh. No! Oh, hey! What the heck? Why is this locked? Unchain this door! Uh, sure, but uh, hold on a second. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> it is my landlady. <laughs> she was trying to open the door. <laughs> hmm? The landlady? Yeah, I forgot to pay my rent last month. <laughs> you know how it is with money. <laughs> You gotta be kidding. I'm gonna use the bathroom. <sighs> what the hell, Vincent? What is this? Will you keep it down? Huh? One of my bosses is here. Huh? Really? Not the best time for you to be. 
Maybe I should at least say hello. <clears throat> he gets real grumpy if you wake him up. He's sleeping in the back. Well, if you really think it would... <clears throat> huh? He's awake? Yeah, hurry up! Now try hey! to... go, 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 go. <clears throat> Sorry. Really sorry. I just wanted to protect you from the smell. Huh? He really smells, you know, and he was drinking last night. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm glad I got you out in time. Whew. Hey, we're not that close, but he kind of forced his way in while he was drunk. Oh, well, he is your boss, huh? Yeah, he is. You just seemed really stressed, so I came to see how you were doing. Thank you. Come by after work and I'll complain some more. <laughs> oh, I got you something from the new shop that opened up. Oh, uh, yeah? Here. I'll see you later. Owen, I am pregnant. <laughs> I just wanted you to know. Seriously? Was that why you really came here? I need to make up my mind quick. You don't know how that makes me feel. Seriously. <laughs> See ya. Oh, Vincent. Wonder if anybody was looking through that while that conversation was going on. them. Oh, and we have to pick a name, but that might be rushing things. I'll text you the details later. I gotta go. <sighs> Meeting the parents. Just gonna sit here and let this happen. Hmm? You got a mail. Oh. Yikes, Vincent. Look at her. Oh, man, we look at those. What am I doing? I can't look away. No, no, I've made up my mind. I can't let her tempt me. Shit, if she finds out I'm screwed, I gotta do something quick. No time to think about the future. Still. Did you see the movie where the guy was, uh, you know, shut up, asshole, and just give me some toilet paper? <laughs> I love this dynamic. I can't concentrate in here. Still, this girl. But, girl? Hey, what are you looking at in there? I want to see. What am I thinking? This can't go on any longer. I have to tell her to stop. Dude, do not delete that picture. <laughs> Orlando just, just wants a piece of the picture. He just wants to see this girl at all costs. Screw Vincent. I need to see this girl. So, uh, you still doing the two-time in tango? Yeah, don't say it like that. It wasn't on purpose. Well, if she is pregnant, you gotta bite the bullet. <laughs> yeah, you're only saying that because it's not you. Hey, man, variety is the spice of life. You need to enjoy it more. Just like the wasabi-coated sushi they serve here. You know what I'm saying, bro? You suck at metaphors. What I'm saying is you've got options ahead of you. Well, yeah. Maybe Catherine would be happier as a single mom than she would be with you. What, are you drunk? No, she wouldn't want that. Well, what exactly do you want here? <sighs> my mind and my heart don't exactly agree on that. Uh-huh. Well, then you've got to be even more careful. If you're caught, you can't call it an accident anymore. I know. I know. Accidents, huh? Hmm. One more of them lately. The old guy next door to me kicked the bucket. I heard... Shotgun, huh? Thought he always did like to party. Probably party too hard. He had this horrible look on his face. Really? It's like that stuff on the news. 
<sighs> anyway, have some magro. It's supposed to be good for your circulation. Huh? You're as pale as a ghost, man. Uh. You going to the bar tonight? Uh, maybe. You? Nah, I have to pass today. Got overtime. But I guess all you can do is drink and forget, huh? <laughs> Pretty much. Alright, and so we're back at the Stray Sheep and we got plenty going on. Sorry, I had to briefly fix something, but we don't have our friends with us as we normally do, but we do have a text message from Orlando. I'm working overtime. Hey, don't be too hard on yourself, bro. Marriage isn't all bad. It's nice to be able to have someone special to spend the rest of your life with. Wow, surprisingly positive coming from somebody like Orlando. Hmm, I guess, I guess we can get up and see what's going on around the bar. Oh, we got quite a bit going on in this direction. When we get married, you want to go on a honeymoon in space? They lowered the application fee. It's cheaper now. Yeah, it's cheaper. It's only 50000 instead of 80000 What a steal. Besides, that's just the application fee. Who knows how much more the trip will cost? And what's this about marriage? You're joking, right? Uh, hmm. Trip into space, huh? Yikes. <laughs> it sounds like they're at a little bit of a disconnect. Sure, I'd like to go to space one day, who wouldn't? But let's be real here. If I had that kind of dough, I'd buy a house. Or pay off my car and have primo steaks for a month. Wow, what a dreamer. Yeah, that is that is a lot of money. Drinking? It's you. We got our police officer friend. All I hear are rumors these days, even when I drink. I think these rumors gave me a terrible nightmare last night. These rumors are about cheating men, right? Gotta say, I... I'm a little scared. You have a reason to be scared then? I'm a piece of trash. If they're cursing cheaters to death, I'd Yikes. be the first to go. Trash? I killed my wife. That is quite the statement. That's the other case I told you I'm investigating from six years ago. You killed your wife and you're still researching the case. I'm trash. <sighs> I'm sorry to hear that. That's, well, that's a lot to live with. Sorry, I don't have any information about that incident. I'll be on the job today, though, so hopefully I'll have something for you. All right, well, I mean, I hope you'll have something for me, too. You got Looks me. like the place is livening up. But we also got some... Ah, yes, of course, some congratulations from Midnight Venus. Nothing too exceptional there. We've already talked to our friends over here, but we've got a couple friends at the bar, including Johnny who's normally sitting with us at the table. We don't see Toby or Orlando here. I've got a confession to make. I'm really only an ex-journalist. Oh, so you quit? I still do research, but I've stopped the whole writing part. Okay, but why? Long ago, I covered a story on a young girl, a ballerina, very talented. Lots of people were sure she'd make it big. I wrote an article about her because her story touched me. She was poor and had to take several part-time jobs while studying ballet. The article was a hit, and her popularity soared. It's the truth. Wow, it's really something. But at the same time, she suddenly had a lot of enemies. They must have been rivals, jealous of her newfound fame. After all the harassment, her family... What? I'm sorry, I'll tell the rest some other time. I don't think I've had enough to drink today. Go easy on the booze, okay? Yikes, that does not sound like a very good situation. You Though it doesn't me. sound like it really started from a malevolent place, right? Hey, how's it going, Vincent? What are you doing right now? Um, I'm drinking with friends. I'm still at work. Why do you care? Uh, we're gonna go with, again, the not lying but not mean. I'm drinking with friends. We'll talk later, or don't come bother me, okay? <laughs> I don't like either of those. We'll talk later is committing to something I don't want to commit to, but don't come bother me, okay, is is aggressively mean. 
Um. Nah. Well, uh, don't come bother me, okay? I don't like it, but I feel like that was the better of the two. Anyways, anything more to say, Justin? I drink and drink, but I can't get drunk. Yeah, it sounds like you have quite the, the sad story going on there. You got me. Did I hear a door? Did a couple people leave, or did somebody join? Oh, it looks like maybe Martha and Lindsay left, but Daniel has joined us. We got a text from Catherine about this morning. Hi, this morning must have been hard for you. Well, I guess I was in the wrong too for showing up so suddenly, but I wanted to talk to you a little more face to face. Mm. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to chase you away. I'm not helping my boss ever again. <laughs> it's okay. No. I can't get that stink out of my room. No. Let's go with I'm sorry, I didn't mean to chase you away. I wanted to protect you. Come see me yeah. another time. No. Let's go with come see me another time. Yeah. I think that's more, uh, I guess, uplifting for the future, right? A promise of, well, I'd really like to see you, so you should come by again. We can talk about the details the next time we see each other, or I know we have to talk. We can talk, let's let's do this. The other one makes it sound like Vince is being forced in the conversation, and I mean, in reality he is, but that's not what exactly what we want to do. Good night, or well, good night, Catherine. We'll go with, well, good night, Catherine. I feel like whenever you say somebody's name at the end, that sentence just becomes a little more endearing. Unless, of course, it's like an insult or a negative comment, then it becomes that much more emphatic. And let's see what Daniel has to say. It's you. Sit. I've been waiting to speak alone oh, with you. Oh, how ominous. I can't believe you don't remember me. And all this time, I was striving to one-up you. One-up? What? I can change the markets with a nod of my head. I've got friends in every branch of government you can think of. I've done a complete 180 from when I was in grade school. So why do I feel so powerless? Hmm. I don't I don't think it was ever a competition. What? No! It's not like that. Maybe it wasn't to you. But I've been trying to surpass you all along. What? I don't think I'm that great of a person. In the end, there's not a single thing that I'm better at than you. I can't make the one person that I love happy. Oh, a Anna, was it? Out of everything in my life, she's the one thing I ever chose for myself. But I have another fiance. Uh, I don't know what to say. I don't need your pity. I mean, if you're trying to one-up us, we're at least equal on that plane right now. I'm not wrong. Sounds like Daniel's struggling with quite a bit himself. Oh, and hey, we got another person sitting down over here. Hey, are you alone today? Hey, uh, do I look like a wow, good person? Wow, that's, that's an aggressive start. Yeah? You're not a good judge of character, are you? I'm one of the worst people ever. Huh? I sleep with lots of women, take their money, and run. Lather, rinse, repeat. Why? I don't like women. They disgust me. <sighs> what about you? Are you usually loyal to them? Well, I, I guess. I mean, I've been dating my girlfriend for a while now. So you mean you'd pull back even if the woman of your dreams hit on you? <laughs> Vincent's like, well, it's what great timing for you to ask that question. Well, we're going to go with I think I failed. <clears throat> I don't know. Women don't stay true either. A happy family is just an illusion. Mothers and sons are just women and men when it comes down to it. Huh? Uh, just kidding. I'm going now. I only came to have one drink. Sounds like there's a lot to unpack there as well. And I don't like that that meter moved in that direction. But the thing is, like... <clears throat> I mean, I'm not gonna lie, right? Vincent clearly failed. Is that Rapunzel game any good? I tried it because Todd, my boss, was into it. It's a lot of pushing and pulling. Just like relationships with women. Nothing but trouble. Wow. Poor Archie. Alright, well, who else is around? Well, still got Daniel. The other couple left. We can chat with Johnny, who's here. Johnny? That was quite the conversation. <laughs> I started to think about our high school days after what happened to Paul. Oh boy, Paul loved the girls back then, too. You and Orlando were always doing stupid things. Didn't you guys once eat Catherine's lunch and get chewed out for it? Did we? I know she was mad, but she started bringing you snacks once in a while. Remember? 
I thought she just wasn't hungry. <laughs> Gosh, there was so, so much oblivious. Going on back then. We were all busy with our own problems. It wasn't all fun, but I felt more alive. More than I do now. It's with you all of a sudden. Is something bothering you? No. That's a lie. Hey, really, what's what's going on? I'm just reminiscing. I'm gonna have another drink. If you're going home, careful. Sure. To be fair, I have been in that sort of a mood before, right? Where you're just thinking back on how things used to be, and the current state isn't quite what you'd been hoping for, and you feel this almost sad nostalgia. <clears throat> oh, okay. <laughs> Midnight Venus again. How unexciting. It seems that the regular patrons of the Stray Sheep have deep issues. If you ignore them, they may stop coming to the bar, and they may even end up on the news. Be sure to speak them and keep encouraging them. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. I promise, Midnight Venus. I promise. Is there anywhere else? Let's, let's check out what's going on in the news. This is our latest in the coverage of the mysterious weakening death epidemic. Matthew Miller was found dead today. We retraced his footsteps from the day before as part of our investigation. This epidemic. A horrible mess. According to his mother, who spoke with him on the phone, after that point he'd been plagued with nightmares. Interesting. The news. It's all about the recent chain of deaths. Just between you and me, it seems an acquaintance of one of our customers has passed away. It's just a coincidence. Well, I don't believe in curses either. But to incur the grudge of a female is a horrifying thing. You see, my wife left me. When she was away on vacation, I brought a young lady home. Just having a little fun. And then... She comes home all of a sudden. After that, she's swinging all kinds of improvised I love that term. weaponry at me. Improvised yeah, weaponry. Uh, sorry to hear that. Yeah, but still, I love my wife even now. She's a classy lady. Mm. Then maybe there's no reason for you to worry about the curse. I mean, if cheating is the cause of the curse, everything's already been taken care of, right? I see. You're right. Maybe that's why I don't have strange nightmares? Besides, it's just a rumor anyway. It's stupid. Hell, the news will just move on once they figure out what's causing this. Sounds like Vincent's trying to explain it all away. I'm kind of tired. I haven't been able to sleep lately. I tried staying in my girlfriend's place, but that makes me wink, wink. more tired. Your girlfriend, <clears throat> huh? What's she like? <laughs> what? You, you want to know? You never talk about it. Toby was wondering too. There's nothing to talk about. Maybe later. Hmm? Interesting. So mysterious. Uh, oh, well, shucks. It's late. I'm tired today. I should go home and get some rest. But alas, there is more to learn from the patrons of the Stray Sheep. I'm gonna have another drink. If you're going home, be careful. Yeah. Let's see. I keep hearing the door quite a bit. Is anybody else here? No, there's probably just been people leaving. There's Johnny. It looked like we could talk to the boss one more time. After that rumor started, everyone seems to be a bit more tired than usual. Are the nightmares because of lack of sleep? Even if they were, they're all happening at once. Yeah, it is pretty odd if you ask me. Let's see what Erica has to say. Does Johnny seem a bit gloomy to you? Did something happen? You don't mess around, man. I'm seriously worried about him. He always hides his problems, right? Yeah, huh? You guys are still just kids. Only your bodies grew up. <laughs> getting called out by Erica. I've been getting the feeling like people keep staring at me. Maybe I'm showing a little too much cleavage. It's just you. Hey, don't shoot me down just like that <laughs> with three words. I love the banter. Come on. I know you sneak a peek at me every so often. No, I don't. Three words again? <laughs> I love how childlike Vincent was in that interaction. Like, no, I don't. You guys are still just kids. Um and I think that covers just about everything. Interestingly enough, Catherine didn't show up. And I think that's because we were actually very forceful about our text being, don't bother me, okay? Again, I'm still learning, still experiencing new things in this game, even now. Oops, I didn't want to, didn't want to do that. I instead wanted to get myself together before, you know, the trial that awaits us tonight. Whoa! <laughs> uh, getting tired? I mean, 
You certainly are. It's scary, isn't it? <laughs> I'll be waiting for you at the quadrangle. You'll be frozen with fear. This voice. Huh? Yep, so they gave a little bit of a hint about what sort of obstacle we'll be dealing with later tonight, but I think that covers just about everything we want to do in the stray sheet for the time being. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know it's a little bit lower energy, and I'm a little bit concerned about our interactions with some of the patrons. I really don't want to... I, I want to keep encouraging them. I want to help them get through their deep-seated troubles, but I hope I'm not failing in doing so, but... Regardless, I hope you guys are looking forward to the next night in the puzzles that await us in the next episode. But until that episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.